Good morning everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. So I feel like I haven't done a vlog on here in a while where I've actually like filmed my full day. I feel like I've really not been doing anything. For those of you that aren't living in the UK right now or don't know what's happening in the UK right now, we're actually in a second lockdown. It is currently, what day is it? It's currently the 20th. My watch now has the date on, which is really quite fun. And we come out in 12 days, or we're meant to come out in 12 days. I've got a weird feeling that they're gonna extend the lockdown. I think everyone else also has the same feeling. I'm praying that we're out in 12 days. We're more than halfway through now and honestly it's not been as bad as the last one I think having a car has really helped because beforehand me and has like even when we lived in London we didn't have a car we didn't really want to get the tube so doing anything I food shopping like when we needed anything we were ordering it online because the we didn't have like a big supermarket near us we started actually shopping at Waitrose that was the closest superstore to us uh, and obviously it's really fucking expensive so it's felt easier this time purely because we have a car and we can drive to Asda like if we wanted to go get a Starbucks or wanted to go get a McDonald's we can drive and I feel like that's how we've been passing the time. So it's not felt as intense. Let me know what, well, obviously, you guys living in the UK. Let me know how you found it. I feel like it feels a little more relaxed. I don't know if it's also because we know, let me know what we're in for now. Like last time it was very much new and nothing like that had ever happened before. But now we're sort of used to COVID being a thing and like just getting on with it. Obviously, it's really, really shit. Like my mom and dad have had to close their business and like my dad's literally not been earning any money, which is really fucking shitty, especially around like the holiday seasons and stuff. Um, so it's really hard and I can appreciate that it's really hard. However, I am really fortunate and really privileged to have still been working. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. That's a whole other segment. But I thought I would vlog today just because I'm sort of giving myself an agenda. I really haven't done this for a while. I just woke up this morning and I'm like, you know what? I want to do something. I want to do something that I've not done in a while. And that is cook up an actual meal. So it is a Friday night. I'm going to cook me and has a nice meal tonight. I've not actually told her what I'm cooking up. So before we do get any further into this vlog, I just want to thank Nord Green for actually sponsoring this video. Now, they are a watch company that actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to work together. And of course, I said yes. I am wearing the watch right now. I'm wearing it in this entire vlog. In fact, I've been wearing it for the past few weeks now. Like, since they sent me this watch, it literally hasn't left my wrist, apart from, obviously, when I'm showering. However, I used to wear a white watch. You may have seen in previous videos, like, a really thin, banded white watch. And I wore it all the time, literally every single day. And for some reason, since moving to Manchester, I just can't find it anywhere. Like, it's not in any of my jewellery boxes. It's literally nowhere to be found. I don't know how it hasn't made the journey from my house in London to my house in Manchester. But when I say I haven't been, I haven't worn a watch in months and it feels so weird not having a watch on my wrist. I literally bought a bracelet to wear on my wrist in replacement of my watch. And now I have a new one that is actually even better. This one actually says the date on it, whereas last time it just told me the time. So the watch I actually picked up is the Philosopher 36 millimeters. They also do this exact watch with a bigger face of 40 millimeters. And I also got it with an extra strap. So it actually came with this black strap on the watch as you can see it got the little black strap in this really nice box as well but I switched it out for the white one just because I feel like I wear a lot more lighter tone colors so the white and just sort of goes better with my outfits but I thought it was useful to get both because like some days I want to wear all black some days I want to wear neutral tones and I feel like I can easily just switch out whichever watch strap to whatever outfit I'm wearing and it's also really really easy to change the watch straps there's a tiny little thing on the back of there and you literally just pull it in pop it into your watch and there you are you literally have what looks like a brand new watch so Nord Green are actually offering you guys a 35% discount code which I'll actually pop on screen I'll also leave it first line of the description of this video alongside a link to their website and also a link to the exact watch that I'm wearing but if you want 35% off this could literally be a Christmas present sorted for your dad for your mom for your sister for your brother for literally anyone it obviously comes in this nice sleek little box so like imagine wrapping this up on Christmas put it in the Christmas tray I honestly think you can't go wrong and for 35% off I haven't yet got my mom anything for Christmas so mom if you're watching this vlog and you get a watch for Christmas maybe I use my own discount code it's not bad that's not bad I'm saving money I'm saving a lot of money as well that's not bad Anyway, I'm going to let you continue watching the vlog. I just want to say a massive thanks to Nord Green for actually sponsoring this segment. I am in love with this watch. I feel like I finally got a piece of me back that I once did have and then went missing. I'm never going to be taking this off. Shout out to Nord Green. Thanks for sponsoring this vlog. And let's just get on with it. Um, but I'm actually going to be cooking a cod curry. Now, I'm not a massive curry fan myself. Like, I do enjoy a curry, but it has to be like a certain type of curry. I'm, I'm a white boy. I'm fucking awful with spice. So I am going to go to Asda today. I need to pick up like all the ingredients and stuff. I went on BBC Good Food yesterday. I actually tweeted asking you guys what, where I should look for recipes and stuff. And I found some good ones. I also found some cocktail recipes. So I'm going to go and get some bits and bobs. I know like B&M and stuff still open. So I want to try and find like an actual like cocktail mix in kit because I want to like have a cute cocktail evening where I've made dinner has made me a roast the other day and it was really really nice so I thought today I'm gonna make dinner and 
yeah, basically I'm just gonna vlog my day. Also, look at this little situation that we've got going off down here now. I set this up last night because Haz got a bunch of prints from Desenio, so I just put them on the floor. And this is Haz's new, has bought a PlayStation 4. She's gonna get the PS5, so she got PlayStation 4. But this is the current situation. She needs to swap, obviously, her old PS out for the new one. And yeah, we've got these there. We wanna get like a cabinet for this wall to put stuff like that on. So then that would obviously be on that wall on like a cabinet. However, we can't find a cabinet that we like, so we just currently on the hunt for a cabinet because we don't want to keep that mirror there. Anyway, before I actually get dressed, I need to make myself some breakfast because I am starving. I'm gonna have a bowl of granola with some cherry yogurt on. Um, I'm trying to be a lot more healthy with my eating. Oh my god, my hair. This is the only issue. Whenever I do my hair, I have to wash it every day because of the amount of like wax that stays in it. And obviously like when I'm in bed and I'm warm, the wax like heats up in my hair and runs. So one, it fucks up my skin on my forehead because it like clogs all my pores. Um, but also it just makes my hair look like this, which is not the prettiest sight in the world. So I love it. Me and Has started watching The Haunting of Bly Manor last night because we saw it on Gogglebox and I was like, oh my god, it's the girl from you. Very fun. Elizabeth, is she called Elizabeth? before Victoria, one of the names. She is like the main actress in it and I was like, oh, she was kind of good in you. Like I kind of found her character really fun. Her as an actor, kind of fun, kind of groovy. So we started watching it last night and it is quite creepy. Like, I can't lie, I'm good with scary films that I really enjoy. A nice little thriller, a nice little what? A nice little horror moment. However, it's not even scary. Like the graphics and stuff of the people, like the ghosts and stuff, aren't scary ghosts. Like they don't look scary. However, the whole like way that the character's face moves and like the little girl, how she talks, just adds a level of like eeriness to it that I really just couldn't settle. So we watched that until like half past 12 and then I had to go in my room and put the Grinch on to like wind down and like think of something nice. So that was my evening last night. Although I do really want to watch it. I want to finish it because I want to know what happens. Do you like one of those scary films that's a bit like, oh God, this is a bit spooky, but also like I really need to know now why X, Y, and Z is happening. That is me currently. So if you've seen it, please don't ruin it in the comments, but let me know what you think of it because I'm gonna watch it again tonight. Guys, this is my breakfast. Wow, how Pinterest does that look? This is very like Anastasia King's Snow's dream. She's very much like, I've moved out, and then this is what she makes for her first breakfast in her new flat. But yeah, I'm gonna mix it all together now. It's not gonna look as pretty, so I just thought I'd show you like this. Kinda want a cup of tea, but also I don't wanna stain my teeth. Oh, is that me and a spoon? Hey! Oh my god, I just realized you're gonna see my trousers from this angle. What is wrong with the lighting? There we are. Look how fun these trousers are. So these are my pajamas. This is what I slept in last night. I literally slept in this exact hoodie as well, um, which I'm really annoyed at because now it's covered in bits. So I'm gonna have to limp roll the fuck out of it. However, look at these pajama bottoms. I got a promise. Oh, I showed you the other day in the haul clip. That's how long I've been filming this vlog for. Um, but I slept in them last night for the first time and they are beautiful. And I'm not gonna wash them for months and months and months. So we're just gonna have to deal with it because I am gross and I feel like these are now my new comfort item. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and I'm gonna watch something on TV. Righty hey, righty ho. I've actually just been cleaning my room for probably the past like hour or so. Clean my room, it is nice and tidy. They're my pajamas, I just took that tripod off there. Um, so just ignore that, it was nice and tidy. But I am now gonna go to Asda to get some bits and bobs to cook food tonight. So I need to get, I need to get a bunch of stuff. I kinda need to get a new pan as well actually. So I'm gonna go to the big Asda by the traffic center and actually see if I can get some bits and bobs. However, it's now like three o'clock and I'm looking out my window and the roads look really, really busy. So I'm not excited about that, but I wanna show you my outfit before I actually do go because I really, really like it. So, this is the outfit of today. You're gonna see all my towels that I need to wash. I've also put a wash on, but I'm waiting for it to finish so I can chuck my towels in afterwards. But I have my Balenciagas on, which I literally haven't worn. Like, even since I bought them, I've hardly even worn them. So I put my Balenciagas on just because it's been a while. I think they go nice with these grey dickies. So I've got grey dickies on, and then this Speed Hunters top, and then a jacket, and then another jacket. And my little Bondu hat, which I haven't also worn in a while. So I'm gonna put my mask on, and I am gonna head to Asda. Pick up some bits and bobs. I'll film some stuff on my phone I'm not going to take my camera really because I keep forgetting my camera in my car um, and I don't want to be doing that because that is dangerous and I don't want to do that so I'm just going to leave this here and I will continue the vlog on my phone I'm going on my own as well because Haz is busy so this shall be a fun bonding experience for us both right everyone I've literally just pulled up at Asda and remind me never to wear these shoes again because I cannot drive in them I had to take them off at a red light because I literally cannot and I mean like I actually can't drive in them like one shoe touches both pedals so fuck and annoying so remind me just like whenever i'm going in the car not to um wear these shoes because i can't fucking drive just putting my shoes back on to go in asda 
Um, I've got a list of stuff on my phone that I want to get. I also want to get some like candles. Do you like the long stick candles that people have like at Christmas on Christmas tables, like the thin ones? I've seen everyone melting them on TikTok in like a hot water, in like a hot water, in like a sink of hot water, and then like bend them into cool shapes. And I was actually going to order some like cool shaped candles. But then I saw everyone doing it on TikTok themselves, and I was like, I'm not paying like twenty pounds for a bendy candle when I can try and make one myself. So I'm hoping they have like cool coloured candles or even just white. Actually. Actually, like a vanilla scented candle would be great so then I can make them um, put them in the living room put one in my bedroom you know that's the that's the plan it's a plan of action but before I do any of that I've got to put all my bloody shoes back on haven't I oh um so that were a big fat fail from me vlogging in Asda I basically got so invested in my food shop and also bumped into my friend whilst I was in there so I was like chatting doing my food shop you know how it is but I've just got back home I'm now gonna have a shower because I don't understand how to work the heating in my car like I know how to work it but the windows are so like steamy and like iced over so I've got the heating on full blast and then every time I turn the heating off the windows steam back up again um so I just had to have it on full blast anyway just got back home to a lovely parcel from ASOS I ordered some trousers yesterday and they're bloody gorgeous actually I'll show you in a sec I just need to tuck my t-shirt in properly but yeah I do apologize for not um vlogging in Asda not that it's very exciting it was just me walking around with a list on my phone picking up bits that I needed I also got a new frying pan um or not a frying pan a saucepan so I'm bloody buzzing these are the trousers as you can see they're gonna sit so nicely on a trainer I got a 30 waist and then a 34 leg um this is like my ideal trouser length but they're bloody lovely I literally have these exact trousers in black and I wear them all the time I think they're so so nice so I got them again in um this lovely little colour very fun very fresh I love them. And now I'm going to have a shower. See you soon. Um, I didn't vlog anything else. You know what, I don't know why I actually got in the shower to do that. I think because the last clip I was saying I was going to have a shower, I thought it would be quite cool, but now I'm realising it's not. So, hi everyone. So I know you were expecting me to make a lovely meal and I did start this vlog by saying I haven't vlogged a full day in a while. I just seem to forget or just seem to like not pick up my camera. However, I'm just really not in the swing of things with vlogging. I feel like every vlogger says this at some point. They get into a routine of vlogging all the time. Then as soon as they break the little routine, it all just comes crumbling down. And I feel like I'm in the crumbling down period because I'm really not good at filming anything at the minute. I think it's literally because obviously we are, I, I feel like I say it all the time. We're in a uncertain times and there's not much you can do. And there's not much new experiences happening in my life like I'm literally doing the same thing every single day and it's quite frankly driving me insane however I'm not getting any new stories nothing new is happening so I've not really got much to tell you however I did in fact cook a beautiful meal the other night well last night I will insert a photo of it Aww. I didn't film any of it because it all slowly started to go wrong. So obviously I went to Asda, as you will have seen, got all the stuff, got all the ingredients. I then jumped in the shower, had a shower, started cooking food. Now I was following a BBC good food recipe. I've never ever followed a recipe in general. I've never ever actually cooked anything before where I've had to follow a recipe and not already like understood how to cook it. So I was using ingredients I've never used before. I was cooking a meal I've never cooked before. And I put the first few ingredients in and I was like, this doesn't look like it's headed in the right direction like this just doesn't look right and I showed it has and she was like oh god this doesn't also look like it's headed in the right direction I had a little meltdown for a minute and then I was like you know I'm just gonna carry on like every good chef just continues and like pushes through if it tastes shit in the end then it tastes shit in the end but at least I've tried and then it ended up working out I literally put in some tomato um cut chopped tomatoes and suddenly the curry was like in full swing and it, it was actually really really nice I think my presentation and my broccoli I could have seasoned the broccoli a little bit like with a little bit of sprinkler something but I didn't want to overdo it however I'm really proud of myself it tasted just as good as it looks I know some people are gonna slag it off but I said it looked tedious I thought it looked really really good you know the lemon little lemon slice added to it we had a little glass of wine sat and had our dinner and now it's the next day and it's not only the next day it's the next evening of the next day I have done absolutely nothing but sit on my laptop and edit i feel like all i've done for the past like week is sit on my laptop and edit but yeah that is the situation today is a new day or today is a new evening should i say do you know what it's not even that late like it really isn't that late where the hell is my phone it is oh, where the hell is my phone to tell you the time after i've just spoke about my watch i am fucking stupid it is almost six o'clock it is 20 to six and it is pitch black 
Now I know it's obviously going to be dark at that time, however it goes dark around 3 o'clock so I've had like 3 hours of pure darkness that I feel like it's a lot later than it is so my body and like my brain is mentally like right it's nearly time for bed, like it's nearly time for bed, it's nearly time for bed but it's not, I still haven't eaten my tea, I need to make myself some tea, Shawn Mendes' documentary came out today you know I think my evening, I'm just currently downloading some files from Saf that I need to edit tonight but I think my evening is mainly going to consist of me on the sofa with a cup of tea watching Shawn Mendes' documentary and I couldn't be more excited about it i need to go downstairs as well and click for post because i got an email saying that my amazon order arrived i ordered a little cool gadget for my car so i want to um get that so i can put it on my car tomorrow uh yeah but that's the situation i don't think anything too exciting is going to be happening this evening but obviously i'm trying to end this vlog i'm trying to you know get back into the swing of things boris johnson is actually meant to be announcing the christmas sort of rules and what's happening when we come out of lockdown if we're coming out of the lockdown and like it is rumored that there's going to be like a stricter tier system them. So I'm obviously apprehensive, also kind of excited. I think it's the first time I've been excited to actually hear Boris Johnson come on my TV and talk this entire time. But I feel like it's going to be a little bit of a breath of fresh air and then he's just going to grab us by the throats again. But we'll see. That is something to look forward to this evening. Uh, like I said, I need to make myself some tea. So I'm going to go into the kitchen and see what do we have got because I'm starving to off and... <sighs> I feel like I'm losing my mind. I've been sat on my laptop since 11am this morning and I've still not finished. I have uploaded one of my vlogs. I sorted Saf's video, Saf's vlog out as well. And now I'm just downloading another video. My life is pretty crazy. It's actually not that crazy, right? Let's just go and make some food. <laughs> Just because I've turned the camera on it doesn't mean it's pointing at you. So get out your own ass. It's my cooking show. Um, so everyone, this is my dinner for tonight. Some chicken and some veg. Because I have quickly come to realise all I eat is the same shit. And I had noodles for my lunch. And I don't want noodles again, nor do I want pasta. So the only other option were chicken and veg or chicken and rice. I went for chicken and veg. And this is my dinner. It literally looks like the most boring plain thing in the entire world. And that would be correct. Ah! 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 You're the g g g g the British! So tell me what's your motive. Hey. I love broccoli. Not anymore. Comment below your favourite full vegetable. Mine is broccoli. Sweet potato. Right, I'm gonna eat this and then um, Probably just edit again, because that's all I do in my life. I've just finished my food. The TV is on. Shawn Mendes' documentary is about to be watched. Uh, I also remembered I actually have this popcorn, but I forgot I had this, so I'm literally going to sit on the sofa now. Eat my popcorn, might make myself a cup of tea, and watch this documentary. Everyone said it makes you cry, so I'm probably going to cry, let's be honest. <laughs> 